welcome back to Living a Country. I'm Holly and today we have another beautiful home tour to share today. And today is going to be a thrifty home tour, a garage sale home tour, a home tour that's filled with finds from the street and even mama's junk store. So I'm so excited to have my friend Jo Beth here today. You guys are not gonna believe how beautiful her home is with all of the thrifty finds she has found throughout the years. You guys are just gonna be absolutely blown away. So I'm so excited to have her here today sharing her home, sharing how she styles her home and just, she's bringing so much inspiration today. You guys are gonna just love her. So I have her linked in the description box down below to her Instagram account and her YouTube channel so you guys can get even more inspiration from Jo Beth. So I'm excited. Let's go ahead and start this tour today and get started. A quick note before we get started, Auntie Candle Co, they just launched their fall candles, but this week they actually launched, which I'm obsessed with, is their antique candles, and they have it in the fall sense. So you can get antique pieces like these. This is not an antique piece of theirs. It's like, you know, the real blue, like new blue, but they've got so many cool antique kind of jar candles that they launch every once in a while. I don't know what this week's launch is going to be on Tuesday, which you guys are watching this on Friday, but go check Antique Candle Co. out in the links down below and subscribe to their email list. You guys will save 15% by doing that and check out whatever antiques they're going to be bringing this week in their fall scents. Let's go ahead and tour Jo Beth's home. Hi, I'm Jo Beth with JJ Finds and Designs Lifestyle. I'm very excited to show you this home tour. I'm very passionate about designing your home on a dime. And so I can't wait to share with you all the places to get the best home decor without spending a lot of money. Check it out. Uh, right here is called a ruggable. I love the ruggable because you can actually peel it up off of its base and wash the top part. Um, so it's a bit of an investment, but um, it's totally worth it with two little rug rats, dirty rug rats running around. You can relate if you guys have kids, but you just pull that top part off and throw it in the wash and it's awesome. It's super awesome for high traffic areas. These snake plants um, I got at Home Depot and broke them up. So I broke them up and put them in two pots right at the front door. I just love the modern look of them. Um, I found these pots at a yard sale. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of side of the road finds in my home, yard sale sites. Oh my gosh. And check out this, this sign. I love it. Lose the shoes. We do not wear shoes in our house. It's just so many germs. We hate wearing shoes in the house, so we don't. So we literally have a sign that says, lose the shoes. Um, this door is an old house ho horse door. It's 100 years old. Um, and we got it at a local spot that we shop at all the time. All right, so let's walk into this room. So this is, when you walk in, it's the left side of my house. And it's just a nice little sitting room. I don't get to spend a lot of time in here because this, this gal does not sit. But um, I love all the different things in this room. Um, we have some shiplap that Joe installed. He installs shiplap. Um, I just got these rugs at um, Habitat for Humanity. Um, the top rug was $30 and the bottom one was a dollar. I know, crazy, right? Um, but sometimes they have some serious sales at Habitat for Humanity and they got a ton of rugs in. Um, the coffee table I found at Goodwill. I love it because it has all that storage. Um, we put blankets or I put different home decor in there and it just really, I probably should restain it, but it is as is. I haven't done anything to it. Um, yes, this file cabinet. Wow. So I added a little whitewash to it and I found that on Craigslist. Um, a lot of my greenery is from Mama's Junk. Holly can probably um, put a link down below for Mama's Junk. She has the best greenery ever. Uh, 
So yeah, check out this greenery. It's just beautiful. Her, her greenery is just bomb.com. So I just popped it in a glass bottle. Um, that map is, it's just a map that I cut in six pieces and then I framed each piece. It's an easy way to make a statement on the wall without spending a lot of money. That table we restored, uh, it's a spool on top and I just painted the base like a whitewash. I am going to do a video soon on how to paint a dry brush like whitewash. Uh, we had these doors made by a local artisan and I just recently painted them this deepish bluish dark color. This pie cabinet I found on Craigslist decor steals so this picture frame has the original picture of whoever's child that is yes so this um these two chairs i got at overstock found the pillows at home goods i got that chest there from somebody gave that to me for free um curtains are from ikea super affordable ikea has literally the best curtains for cheap 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 decor steals this lantern is from decor steals just a close-up here of these amazing doors that i had made so yes this basket is a knockoff of pottery barn and i love drying my own greens like eucalyptus i get my eucalyptus at trader joe's i enjoy it for a little bit and then i dry it out and then I usually just pop it in a basket. Now I combine it with some faux stuff. And so I just like all the different colors of greens. This is my hooded chair. I love this chair. Um, I literally found it at a local furniture store. Alrighty, now let's take a look at my formal dining room over here. So on this wall, we have some shiplap as well. Um, oh, let's check out these corbels. So I found these also at a local yard sale. And we just put them in each corner of the room. My kids are in the background, guys. I apologize. But um, yeah, check out this wall. I just love this shiplap wall. Like anything looks good against shiplap. This chair I found on the side of the road, no joke. I picked this beauty up and I refinished her. Just chipped away all the old paint and then I clear coated her. Um, this table I got at House H O U Z Z. Got the dough bowl, some antlers. I just have a little bit of layering here. This was this this was so easy to make, you guys. So easy. It's just a bunch of sticks and some greenery and an olive bucket. I have a frame, just an empty frame around a beautiful picture. These two photos are from Mama's Junk Co. Again, Holly can link that, but Mama's Junk Co. has some elegant pieces. Super gorgeous. We just, I just love her items. All right, so check out my dining room table. I actually did a video on how to style this. So it's just easy. I got some boho mats on there. The table is from Restoration Hardware Outlet. I paired it with some vintage chairs that I found at a yard sale. I'm in New Jersey. We have a lot of vintage antique thrift stores and I'm always finding gems. Shoot, I find them on the side of the road. It's just awesome. Um, but I have a couple of the brass um, napkin holders here from from Kirkland's and then all of these lanterns I collected from Home Goods, just threw in some greenery along the middle and it really just came along. This is my summer scape. So this is my summer table. This table we do not eat at. We do not do anything. It's literally just makes me feel good when I walk into the house. So it's just two rooms that bring my energy level up when I walk into the house. I just feel like that's important when you first walk into your home is to feel good and so there are literally just two places in my home that I get to redecorate over and over again have fun with it's kind of just kind of it's just a way of me 
artistically expressing myself. All right, so here, let's go into this living room. So this living room was a little intimidating when I first came to the house, when I first purchased the house, um, because the ceilings are so high and I just did not know what to do with the walls. Um, eventually, we want to get some hardwood floors, but we did an accent wall where the fireplace is, and then we had some custom bookshelves made by the local artisan, and that huge cabinet in the middle. So these bookshelves were made out of wood that were made out of old barns that were ripped down. Um, I have two baskets on the bottom where we put our cozy blankets. I have a lot of old books that I use to stack. I have crystals, you see the rocks. I feel that they give me good energy in the house. So I have a lot of crystals and different rocks and stones around our home. A lot of my decor is from Decor Steels. Again, I love Decor Steels. That piece up there, right there is Decor Steels. And I have two of these bookshelves that I switch out and change every mm, four or five months. This cabinet I love in particular because it stores all the toys, y'all. So I don't like a lot of toys. We don't have a lot of toys lying around and everything has to be put back. So it's super organized. I love the fact that we have a space that the kids can open up, take all their toys out, play, and then put them all back. And then I just have the beauty of these bookshelves. Nice little storage basket there that I got at Home, D home Goods. That beautiful head I got at Decor Steels. That's Mama's Junk. And then, like I said, I find a lot of things from Facebook Marketplace. I love Facebook Marketplace. I love the Goodwill. And I love Habitat for Humanity. Salvation Army is another place I get a lot of my goodies at. You see the book stacked right there? I literally just pull off the covers and it just gives you a nice neutral palette. Hobby Lobby, those baskets, the one basket is from Hobby Lobby. The window is from Decor Steels. And literally all of my greenery is from Mama's Junk. So this garland right here, so real, but it's faux. So real looking. And it is from Mama's Junk Co. I put a door right there, just chopped the door in half and used it as a layering piece. More curtains from Ikea. Gotta love Ikea. Ikea has great, long, cheap, affordable curtains. So this is my living room. We spend most of our time here. That coffee table was from Habitat for Humanity. There's a little pepper. Oh, quick tip. My pillow covers, Hobby Lobby. So I buy new pillow covers at Hobby Lobby and I usually use the same inserts. But those covers, those pillow covers are from Hobby Lobby. All right, so welcome to my kitchen. Uh, we fell in love with this kitchen when we first walked into it. And not because of the color of the cabinets, but because of the space. Oh yeah, and I paint furniture, so I have three pieces lined up to paint. I literally paint in my kitchen, and then I sell these pieces of furniture locally. 
but back to this kitchen we just fell in love we recently just updated the lights I diffuse my oils all day long I'm always using oils to cleanse the air to lift up the energy in the air with the scent of citrus I just put this little floral succulent piece together um, the large succulent is a faux and it's from Mama's Junk Co. Just got these new stools from Wayfair. I love them. My rug is from Rugs USA. And I brought more brass into this kitchen just recently. So the lighting is brass, like that gold color. And then you can see the, the brass face there. That is from Mama's Junk Co. Can you tell I'm obsessed with Mama's Junk Co.? All right, so this is our sunroom. This is where we eat dinner every night. This is where the sun just shines through the house, lights up the whole home. Um, we feel like we're literally in the forest. This wall here, so all six of these botanicals are from Decor Steels, the cabinet I found at Home Goods, And I'm gonna show you in a minute um, how I decorated the insert inside of the cabinets with all of my white ceramic white iron stone that I usually find at thrift stores you guys so this is like a must have that you find at thrift stores you can always find this white iron stone at thrift stores check it out Okay, can you tell I love greenery? <laughs> whether it's real or whether it's faux, I freaking love greenery. Another thing that just lifts my spirits in the house. Like, I don't know, it's just something about plants. They just make you happy. So this room is filled with plants, um, happy plants. This table was custom made by a local artist. I have my little plant it, it, it literally has turned into a plant table but this room is so happy it's just all these plants are happy too All right, so this is the bonus. I'm taking you out on my deck, which I don't normally show, but I just got this new rug at um, Habitat for Humanity for $30, y'all. And so I just had to show you this space. We legit are out here every day. We eat dinner out here. We come out here in the morning to meditate, to do yoga. Um, it's just really crucial and important to be with nature. So if you haven't, you should try it. Create that space in your home outside. Whether it's big or small, it doesn't matter, but connect with nature. It makes you feel good. Thank you again for joining me on this home tour. Make sure that you subscribe to JJ Finds and Designs Lifestyle. I have a heck of a lot more videos coming your way. Take care.